Good morning guys, today I'm taking you on the ultimate foot tour in Bangkok. There is few more people joining me in a minute. Uh, we're gonna be eating all day a lot of delicious food. I don't really know what's coming, but I know one thing, there is gonna be a lot, a lot of good food. See what's coming up and see how much I'm gonna eat. All of these prawns cost you 60 baht. This looks so good. That is delicious. Mm. There is one more person joining us, guys. <laughs> so we're having cow rat pat pung curry po. I'm gonna try to write it in Thai. <laughs> Read the sign. It's saying just you try the soup, it's different from the other place already, and it's true. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Tapioca, sugar, and pandan, the worms, right, in a coconut milk, palm sugar. Yes. So we're not only having a food tour today guys, but we're also yeah, having walking, a walking. Uh, walking tour around Bangkok. Yeah. Alright, yeah, we've got James. James is also a YouTuber. James, what's the name of your channel? Uh, my name is Chef Who Travels, so it's exactly what it says. I'm a chef, I travel the world and eat food. So there's gonna be a link to his channel in description. James, of course, is joining us for today. There is few more people coming. I'm gonna introduce them to you in a minute. You probably seen them on our vlogs already, but it's gonna be so much fun. Are you excited? I, I'm honestly, I'm blown away by this. I can't wait. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot of good food. I think we're gonna be stuffed afterwards. I would say I'm not so. gonna eat for days. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been around here. Right, so I told you we're gonna have more people joining us later. Here we've got Nat. Nat, don't run away. <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys. Are you ready to eat? I am, I am. I'm always ready to eat. Yeah, Nat has channel guys. Go and check his him out. The link is gonna be in the description. He's got a YouTube channel. Him and his lovely family and two daughters. They just came to Bangkok. They just moved to Bangkok. Yeah. Go and check the channel out, it's absolutely amazing. They post daily vlogs, they lovely people. You're gonna absolutely enjoy watching them. <laughs> check the channel out. <laughs> right, me and Nat chatting, we just passed the place, guys. This is really interesting. First dish of the day, Pat Kapow Fung. Uh, Dan said, just check out the name of this place here. There is a sign. Dan said it's absolutely lovely food here. There is Dan. Hello Dan. Hi. Hi. This is you, great. you know Dan. I'm gonna stick the link to his channels because Dan has one more than one channel down yes. below as well. Complicated guy. Yes. <laughs> What's the name of this place? Because I can't read Thai yet. That's say grab how kung lon. Kung lon is mean plenty of prawns. Ooh. So what they're gonna give you is um, the sheep rice and plenty of prawns on top of the rice. Oh, and we'll nice. see how big or uh, how many of the prawns we we'll get. Okay, exciting. Nothing better than pat kapow and prawns in the morning. <laughs> Let's eat some food. I'm hungry, this is my breakfast. First meal of the day. We have arrived. Uh, we are sitting in a really local place as you can see. Uh, we're gonna be eating some delicious food in a minute, but check out this crispy pork. That looks insane. So this is lovely kitchen, very local, loads of fried eggs being prepared for later on in a day. I can't wait to try this food. Right guys, let's try some of this food. All of this, all of this prawns cost you 60 bar, check out the portion, plus 10 bar for the egg. This is gonna be good, I can already tell. Right. We are sharing this by the way guys because otherwise we could never eat that much. First bite goes in. Mm. Mm. Oh my god. This is so so good. This is the best pad kapow I ever had. Uh, Danny we have to come here. Honestly, look at the size. The amount of prawns they give you. The rice is nice and fluffy. Mm. It's not too spicy. I could add more chilies, definitely that. I'm sharing this with James. James, are we adding more chilies? Oh, definitely. Okay. 
บางคนเรียกนะพริกน้ำปลาพริกน้ำปลาพริกเลย We're gonna add some พริกน้ำปลา on the top all over the egg I do like it when I have some extra chilies on my egg and this way you get your perfect pot kapow This looks so good Nidnoi, Nidnoi. That is delicious. It's not too spicy. No shrimp is so sweet and soft. The rice is nice. It's cross between sort of well cooked and a little soft. This is a little sticky. Well seasoned. Absolutely delicious. Like camera one, camera two, camera one, camera two, camera three, camera four, camera five. This is absolutely delicious food, top notch, guys. I'm gonna put the link in below, in description. So make sure you check out this place. So this lady is gonna see me again. We're gonna be back in this place, guys. I'm gonna bring Danny here so he can try food. Kapunka. So it's no Danny with me today. Um, Danny has to be working, but I'm gonna take him some uh, takeaway food from one of the last places, so it's gonna be fresh. But yeah, it's just me and the boys today. Maybe one more person is gonna be joining us later. But yeah, this is gonna be exciting. Loads of different people, loads of different point of view, loads of different tastes. And also here, guys, we have a more kit. I'm gonna stick the channel link also down below. Uh, where are you from? I'm from Thailand. From Thailand. I was born here. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. So you born here? You yes. live here all your life? Not actually here. Yeah, yeah. But in Bangkok. <laughs> Oh, amazing. So he is a local guy, so it's gonna be a really good actually to have the local point of view on the food we're gonna be eating as well. There is one more person joining us, guys. I can see him already. Look who it is. Hey. 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 I know, right? What are you doing here? <laughs> so this is Gary. You've seen Gary on many, many of our vlogs, guys. Link in below. We're gonna chat to him later. Right, but now we are off to the next stop to have some more delicious food. Right, guys, we are around uh, Samyan area. We're very close to our next stop. If you remember, we have done video, me, Gary and Dan, in that shop over there where we had uh, crab curry, which was absolutely amazing. The shop is called Chula 50 Kitchen. But today, we're going to try the same dish somewhere else. It's really good fun so far. Yeah, I love it. Well, <laughs> where are you taking us then? Crochula 48. Wow. The owner say that they have something similar to the other place, which is a crab, crab curry, but they claim that they are the original. Right, excited for this one, guys. I absolutely love crab curry with the yellow curry paste, yellow curry powder. This is one of my favorite dishes over rice. It's gonna be delicious. I can smell it already. Let's go inside and try some food. It's nice and cool inside. They have a lot of dishes on the wall, pictures with a lot of lovely food. So it's a lot to choose from. So we're having cow rat pat pung curry po. I'm gonna try to write it in Thai. Let's see how I get on. Right guys, what do you think of my Thai writing? Is it good? <laughs> what do you think? I approve. Yeah. I'm Thai. <laughs> All right, let's order this food, guys, and see what we're gonna get. I hope I'm gonna get what I ordered. Yeah, you want to ask any question? That's right. Any fact? So, more kit is joining me by the table. Oh! Wow, it's coming. 
70 baht. 70 baht. Wow. Guys, 70 baht for crab curry is cheap. This is really cheap. If you go to the restaurant, typical restaurant, you could pay for like more than 200. <laughs> so much fun filming with everyone, guys. Check this out. This is 70 baht. 70 baht for that amount of curry, guys. That amount of crab. Absolute steal. You first. Lady first. I'm sitting here with a true gentleman, guys. Let me try first. Let's try some of this curry. A bit of rice, a bit of curry, a bit of crab. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that crab is delicious. Wow. You can taste how fresh it is. The eggs are mm, a bit sweet for me, but the crab, the saltiness in the crab is just mixed with the sweetness of this eggs and the yellow curry powder. This is perfect. I absolutely love this dish. Let's see what the local person thinks about this food. Okay, my turn. I'm sure my mom will love this. Mm. Wow. So that's definitely thumbs up from both of us guys. Absolutely delicious food. Right, so we off to the next stop. Next stop I heard is duck noodles guys. Duck? Duck noodles, yes. Okay. One of my favorite dishes I think. I don't know exactly where Dan is taking us. Uh, I think Danny was looking at the map and he told me we went there before. So we will see. I think I have never been there. Yeah. Let's see you guys. Let's see. Let's see where Dan is gonna take us. <laughs> Hello. We're just outside the next stop. The next stop is duck noodle soup or duck noodles. Not sure what we're having yet. Uh, it smells delicious, looks delicious. So we are still around Samian area. Just look for that sign over there with a little duck. We are next to the busy road, but don't worry. The locationing is, uh, locationing is gonna be for you in description. So it's gonna be easy to find. So this looks like a very local shop guys. I'm gonna ask Dan why he chose this restaurant in a minute. It smells absolutely lovely. I can smell the hot broth cooking. There was a fan over there. Literally my skirt went in it. Almost got stuck into the fan but you know don't be, I'm so clumsy. But let's ask Dan why he chose this restaurant. What, what is so special about this one? The soup is really good here. Um, I didn't know, I didn't realize the soup is just so good. Until I walked out and Yaya said, read the sign. It's saying, just you try the soup, it's different from the other place already. And it's true, so you have to try that. So there you go. They have a special soup, they have a special broth in this shop, guys. So this is gonna be interesting one. Let's try it and let's see what it's like in here. Let's go. Come with me. So this is deep fried cow with duck. Oh. oh my god. Like it? Oh wow. Yeah. This is so good, salty, sweet, and you can taste it. I think I had a bit with a duck skin. It's amazing. <laughs> Right guys, me and Nat sharing this dish. Uh, we have a duck noodle soup, the special recipe like I said before. Nat is going in first. I don't want to make it too spicy, do you? I don't like too much because, you know, I, I still like to taste the soup. Let's try this noodle soup. Oh, it's really oily. Oh yeah, that's nice. Let's go. The dog is really soft. My turn to try this lovely soup. Let's try the broth first. He's gonna try the soup now. Ooh. We've got some bits of like a kidneys living here. Uh, blood cake, which is one of my favorite things. Let's try some of this blood cake, yeah? Oh, look how pink it is inside. 
I'm just going to jump in and say, that it, although it isn't my favourite thing in the world, I think it's right, it doesn't taste of anything, it's just for textures and it is one of the better versions of this that I've had, although I probably wouldn't order it again. More Keith actually liked it, um, so yeah, it's not for everyone's taste, uh, as for Lang's, <laughs> didn't like it that much. <laughs> that is only half a lang. <laughs> but yeah, overall really nice food in here, great atmosphere, uh, nice and cool with the fans. So yeah, check this place out, link in the description. Yeah, let's go to the next one. Let's go guys. Go. Oh, where's the last one? <laughs> Taking pictures everywhere. <laughs> we are going, I think, uh, Chinatown? Yes. Right? Yes. Right, I can be your guide. We are going next stop. We are going to try Lok Chong, Singapore, guys. One of my favorite ah. Thai desserts. I, I love it too. You love it too? It's yes. so nice and refreshing. So it's, it's not actually from Singapore, mm. but from the <laughs> Singapore cinema in Bangkok. Ah, okay, that's why you got a name from. Yes. Lok Chung, Singapore. And the history. I left boys behind. <laughs> we are here for dessert. It's time for dessert. We had a three main meals. Now it's time for the sweet. We came here to try Lok Chung, Singapore. You've seen this place on our video before. It's super nice and refreshing, creamy milk. Jelly noodle kind of thing. Whoa. Gary, can you explain to us what's included in this dessert? You're gonna get you're gonna be getting tapioca, sugar, and pandan little worms, right, in a coconut milk, palm sugar and canon, which is jackfruit in English. So you've got pieces of jackfruit, lovely sweet coconut milk, and because it's palm sugar, you've got that like butterscotchy kind of like top flavour. Oh. And top with ice. Just waiting for mine guys, uh, yeah I'm excited, this is one of my favourite desserts, it's super refreshing, I love coconut as you know, coconut milk in it, uh, I love pandan, these are pandan jelly, right Gary? Yeah, pandan jelly, like little worms but they're super super nice and it's really fun to eat it. Oh, kapunaka! <laughs> hey guys, so, can you see these little green noodles? How fun is that, eh? <laughs> this is perfect dessert for kids as well, <laughs> as I am kid myself. <laughs> mm. Yes. <laughs> mm. Oh my god, I forgot how good this is. You have cup filled with ice. That coconut milk, guys, is super refreshing. On a hot day like this, this is perfect, perfect refreshment. Must try. When you're in Chinatown, trust me, you won't regret it. <laughs> Cheers. So this is a massive ice crusher for the Lok Chung Singapore, guys. I was just looking, what's going in there? But yeah, the lady said, yeah, it's Nam Kang, Nam Kang. So just remember, this little dessert store is open 9.30 a.m. to 6 p.m. If you want to come and try this one. 
I'm gonna put the link down below. There's gonna be a lot of links down below, so check all the locations, check all the YouTube channels from the other guys. Yeah. Super nice day, I'm so excited guys. I literally cannot stop talking. Uh, everyone is absolutely lovely. You feel like you're on a day out with friends and you're just filming it for your memories, so it's really nice. We're just walking around Chinatown in a little back street, uh, literally between two buildings. But I would recommend you, I would highly recommend you just walk in, oh, sorry, just walk in between the buildings and explore a little bit more because you never know what can you find. Some places are so pretty around here. Honestly, Chinatown is preparing for Chinese New Year, so it's gonna be nice to see uh, the lampoons, how it's being decorated, and stuff like that. So yeah, that would be interesting because it gets really, really busy around New Year in here. Very <laughs> People are so lovely in Thailand, honestly. See you soon. Danny, you missed another one, mate. <laughs> yeah. Ow. Take care, Danny. Ow, buddy, ow. So I'm just trying to navigate now. I'm taking boys to the cafe, which Dan recommended to us. We are on the way to get a refreshment, alcoholic beverage of some sort, probably beer for me. Uh, and yeah, we are going heading to the river. Dan said it's gonna be a nice view. He recommended this place for us. I'm a tour guide now, so let's go and see if we can make it there. We are still going in the right direction. We're passing a lot of like a mechanic garages here, which can smell the oil in the air. Lots of parts on the other side. Mr. Google says we're going in the right direction. Really cool place, guys. Loads of like uh, old quirky stuff around here. A uh, lot of paintings on the walls as well, graffitis, street art. Little okay. kitties. No way, and it's closed. What is going on? <laughs> so we're not only having a food tour today guys, but we're also having a, a walking tour around Bangkok. We're gonna burn off all the calories we've eaten today, for sure. We're gonna come back where we came from. And that's back along the wall. And that's closer to Bangrak area. Maybe, let's go this way. We're catching a tuk-tuk to a very popular place in Bangkok. We're going Jack's Bar for beer. We cannot find anything else. Let's go there. Okay. Oh, this is hot. This is <laughs> You in, James? Are we in? We all in. Four of us. Okay, so we're all in a tuk tuk. Where are you in going? The Jack's bar. Jack's bar. Which is right on the river. Surprisingly, my first time in a tuk tuk. No way. Yeah. Maybe this can be a thumbnail. Nat is all honestly just sitting like on the edge of Tuk Tuk. <laughs> he is risking his life. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have an For a beer. <laughs> <laughs> so we just got here guys to we're going to the Jack's Bar. Uh, it's right by the Chow Praia River. Really cool place. Come and check it out. Uh, and yeah, it's like a wooden shack on the Chow Praia River. We both just ordered some beers. Uh, we have sitting already. Yeah, let's go and chill. I think we're gonna end the video here. Come here, all of you. 
<laughs> it's just four of us here. We're on the way to meet Danny, so don't worry, Danny is not gonna miss out uh, in all the fun. Oh, yeah. We'll yeah. have a pint with you, Danny, don't worry. <laughs> We're coming for you, bud. <laughs> <laughs> we had a couple beers. We absolutely enjoyed uh, sitting by the river with a nice uh, breeze as well. But for now, guys, we, what I want to say, just thank you for staying to the end. Come to say goodbye. Yeah, 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 yeah. come on. <laughs> what I want to say, thank you very much for staying to the end. Make sure, as always, thumbs up and subscribe, guys. And don't forget to follow all of these guys. Bye! Bye! Bye. <laughs>